All right, now I'm standing here with Jeff Colbert here from London, Ontario. That's in Canada, for those of you Americans who don't know. Sure is. Uh, and you, you're doing a fantastic show this year called Archie and Mahidavel mm -hmm. in the yellow venue, which we've got this lovely yellow backdrop. It's like yes. we planned this or something. <laughs> Uh, so tell us a little bit about the show. Okay, Archie is a cockroach, Mahidabel is a cat, and uh, I took the writing from uh, a, a great American writer named Don Marquis. He claimed actually that Archie the cockroach wrote it all by jumping on his typewriter keys, and the, the cockroach said to him, this is back in the 20s, he said, you put a piece of paper in your typewriter every night, I'll tell you what life looks like to a cockroach, and it's amazing writing, I always loved it. About 10 years ago, I put together a draft of a show, and finally, a couple of years ago, I got around to putting it up, and I've been touring with it for two years now. Fantastic. And yeah, actually, after the show, you mentioned this, and I went and did some research, and there's a lot of material out there if you're really interested in this subject, right? Yeah, I, I, I always, especially when I'm in the States, I always say, I'm the Canadian reintroducing the, a great American writer to you Americans. Yeah. So yeah, Archie Mahidabel, Google it, and it's great stuff. Great. Awesome. And uh, there's, there's also a question that we always ask here in Orlando. Do you have a fringe crush this year in Orlando? Uh, fringe crush, I'm going to go with Dewey. Uh, Dewey, uh, who I, I've seen, I, I met in Indianapolis, yeah. and I, met, I meet now under another guy's totally, mm -hmm. and the guy, you know, he's just a nice, quiet, unassuming guy when you meet him in the beer tent. And then he takes on these characters, and I'm just intrigued. He just lays it out there. He's a brilliant improv man, and uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of in admiration of his skills right now. So, so your crush is on Dewey, not on one of his characters? Well, I kind of have seen him do two very different characters yeah. now, so I'm, it's kind of like Dewey and who he becomes and yeah. who he is behind it all. I'm just fascinated. I think he's brilliant. Awesome. Thanks, Jeff.